So it would seem Paya didn't have anything after the credits. Not a thing. But we now move on to the final character here in this Blade Stranger story mode playthrough. Summer Kawasi, basically in a bikini top and shorts. From what I played as her, she has different, like some different moves. Is that a Ghost in the Shell reference right there? I know this is like a Curly Brace reference. And um, yeah, she has a different super. Hopefully her story is different. As she stands there. Oh, she gets teleported right in. Okay. Where am I? Huh? My body feels light. I guess I finally got rid of it. The darkness. The pain that my other half carried. <laughs> What's going on? It seems there was an issue during transmission. That's right. While the transfer was taking place, it looks like multiple copies were created. Not quite if you look at the scans, it's clear they are not exact copies. Ah, so there are some differences. It's just a different... Which means there could be a conflict. This is bad. Does that mean it's a corrupt copy? How did this happen? And what's going on to happen now? I wonder where the other part of me went. Ha! Ah, you intend to confine <laughs> me by showing a little skin? A laughable tactic. Huh? Who are you? I am Joe de Liongate, and considering the outfits my sister favors, your attempt is hardly shocking. I am the one that will win this tournament. So what I've played as her, she has a different, two different supers basically. Some moveset alteration, not a lot. She is technically an Echo, but or clone, but not a lot though. She is basically put in this game for fan service and fan service alone, because they're like so far our most popular character is the brunette, that is a uh, very busty with the childish face. Don't hurt me, man. Damn it, Joe, are you serious? Damn it. I'm trying to do the damn move all well. We'll, just, we'll show one super off here if I can. Wow, Joe just being relentless going after me, man. Okay, okay. That's cool, Joe. Because I kept trying to go for something else. There we go. Here's her level one. Shrinks you in the backpack and fires you out. Level two version of that. Shrinks you in the backpack. Fires you out again. And you can combo after that if you uh, choose to be. I missed. There we go. Sit down, Joe, with my split kicks. That's right. That's right. Watashi na... I don't know. Coming at you. Gotcha. By the way, her other level one... Reminds me of Battletoads. Or Maximum Spider 2. And with a mix of Rolento. Anyway. Aw, oh, come on. There it is! Yeah, the kicky kicks! Joe, that's enough. Here's my chance. Here I come. If you make an amazing comeback, Joe, I will be furious. I know his name's Lion Gate, but he calls himself Joe the Lion Gate. Wait till you see the level 2 version of that other one. So what do you think of my lure control? Because hm. she's a fisher, remember? Damn! It would appear that despite my best efforts, I almost said breast efforts, I was still affected. And he's dead. I guess I may as well enter this tournament. So I guess she has an evil counterpart. Which Hey Gunvolt! Fancy meeting you here out of nowhere. Miss you, Kaisu. <laughs> 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 
Yada yada. Let's go, Gunvolt. Yeah, just stand there, buddy. I was hoping he'd just stay there, too. Aha! And I can combo after that, kind of. Here's our level 2 version of the Maximum Spider. The only difference is at the end. Watch carefully. Puts me in a knockdown state, too, so I can do that. Gunvolt, why were you a lot easier than Joe? Why were you a lot easier than Lion Gate? I think Gunvolt is like, you know what? I have my navel showing, so do you. Let's uh, let's party sometime. There you go, Gunvolt. Start. But I keep forgetting that Gunvolt actually has the uh, least amount of HP out of every character in the game. So he's technically the glass cannon. And yes, you can combo after that, which is good. Whoosh! Damn it, Gunvolt. Now he's now we're talking. He's coming at me now. This is good. Come here, buddy. Let's uppercut ya. And he's dead. That's right. So what do you think of my look? Oh, Alright, we've, we've seen that. We've seen that quote. Huh? Yumiko? Is that you? What are you doing here, Yumiko? Who are you, miss? You can't fool me. You might look like her. But you're not the same person. We're in the loser's bracket, Shikamaru. It's now or never. Hiss. Shikamaru? But Shikamaru is just a normal cat. What What the heck are you going to do with that beast? Shikamaru, go. I only say it like that because that's how she said it in her story mode. Shikamaru! Let's go, Imiko. Yeah. I'm gonna beat the giant cat. Let's go! Beat the hell out of this giant cat. That amount of pressure. Oh god, don't hurt me. Oh, hello. Oh, that was dumb. Whip it good, damn it! I don't want to waste the super here, so... There we go. I will do the super at the beginning of the fight! I don't know which super is better. Her little... I'm gonna fire you out of my backpack super, or her little... You know... Maximum spider. Stop running! We'll just do both, why not, right? See? Just do both. I did the level 2 version of that one, though. <laughs> Ikido! And... No? No? He's dead. Perfect KO, nice. It's okay. I got this. I burn a lot of meter, but I got this. So what? Okay, she's been saying that for the last three fights. What the hell? Is that all she could say? Like only do fromage? She won again. At this rate, they're bound to meet sooner or later. If only one could disappear before then, there wouldn't be any problem. Indeed. Indeed. Kawasi conflict will have to leave one standing in the end. So whoever that is may as well become the Blade Stranger. Wouldn't you agree? I suppose. Oh, hello, Isaac. Our second hidden character we are fighting. Does the mom still scream? Hold on. Oh, yep, yep. So, yeah. With a little bit of uh, research, Isaac and um, Shovel Knight are the two guest characters in this game. They are not owned by the property that owns Gun Volts and everything else. Cave Story and everything. So, 
And again, I could still be wrong. Watch Shovel Knight and Gunvolt be the ones. But no, I think it's uh, Shovel Knight and Isaac. Because I see in the uh, the credits, Isaac is belong to something else. And Shovel Knight is belong to someone else. Just like in uh, Smash Ultimate, when you beat it and you see the credits, you see uh, Microsoft's, you see SNK, you see the people who own Minecraft in the credits now. Just like with any amiibo, that is a third party. If you look, you'll see it says copyright of Nintendo slash Sega. Or like if you see a Pokemon amiibo, it'll say copyright, Pokemon Company, Game Freak, or Features Inc., Nintendo. It's a very, very, it's a very fun thing to do when you look underneath the amiibos and see the copyrights. <laughs> Actually, oh wait, another win for me, just like I expected. Oh, but don't beat yourself up about it. Correction, when you do the Sonic one, it just says copyright Sega under it. Didn't I fight you already? Another match against the same damn opponent? What are you talking about? I've never met, I've never seen you before in my life. What? Come on. Why the hell are you lying? Oh, you must have met the other me. The other you? I got no clue what you're talking about. Anyway, this is the loser's bracket, right? I'm gonna beat you for sure this time. So technically there's a loser's bracket? That's good to know. Double elimination? That's good. So basically we'd have to beat Kawasi twice if we do run into her on the next fight. Ow. Maybe Summer Kawasi will have a special thing after the credits like Abin did. So far he's the only one to have that. Up you go. This is a cool super. Anything involving like back and forth stuff like the Maximum Spider. Which by the way, in my opinion, the Maximum Spider became a lot cooler in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Granted it was kind of cool in the versus games from the get-go. But once they introduced the, uh, the web and him back and forth just punching you and then coming back down on you, that's when it became awesome. Like, that's super so cool. It's the same in, uh... Infinite. Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Haha! -ha. Let's go! And we're gonna fire you away. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do the other one because she was too far away. But... We're gonna do a level 2 version of it anyway. Oopa! And all caught giant fish man. Aha! Oh. Still got the sweet chin music though. Daisy Dukes and bikini top. And backpack. I've actually carried a backpack shirtless. It's not very comfortable. Damn it in my lure control all the time. Damn it. I can't believe I lost twice in a row. Can you tell me where the other Kawasi you fought went? Ow. Uh, she's in the tournament, so obviously she's off fighting her next opponent. Oh yeah, makes sense. Okay, thanks. This is not good. The world is starting to destabilize. Oh dear. Ha! Huh. So I guess I don't fight Lena, unless she has a special fight. Like, more than seven fights. <laughs> Yeah. Stage six. So, unless she gets another fight, that is um not a stage seven fight. She gets a stage uh, eight. We'll soon find out. Got it. Ah, oh, dude. Once you're able to keep canceling that crap. This game becomes really fun. Let's go, Noko. You gonna arrest me? Arrest this! I missed. Oh, hello. She can swing? Oh, well, yeah. She's like Spider-Man. With her lore. Son of a diddly. That's enough. Stop it. I'll dive kick you to death. Split kicks. And sweet chin music. I thought that would be unblockable. I like that shoulder dance move. 
That was a shocking experience! Oh dear, I tried to heat up. I tried to heat up, but... I got caught up in the moment. Okay, we got this. Gonna rush her down like I did last time. Here I come! She beat me to the punch. Get it? She said this is quite the pickle. Whip it good, bitch! Oh god. Lightning Sphere. We'll do a level 2 version of this. All it does is do more damage. Gotcha! I think she's dead. Is she dead? Raw Super? Let's see. Ah, yeah, they're close. Yeah, this cover C doesn't use any knives, I noticed. So she does have a technically a different moveset. I just love keeping active. That you do. That you do. That's how you keep that tone body of you. Here we go! I finally found you. Huh? Who? You're me, but not me. Nice to meet you. You're my darkness, and you need to disappear. Huh? What do you mean, darkness? Everyone sees me as a cheerful, energetic tomboy. They all tell me how it's so nice I never worry about anything and how I'm so bright and cheery all the time. Never worry? You know I have to endure constant misery day after day. Trying to open one door after another. <laughs> exactly. The original me was so constrained. So in constant pain. So I threw away the pain. That's you. My darkness. And that makes you what? The light? That's right! I realize that if I wanted that darkness to go away, I have to do it myself. Which means that if I can defeat you now, that process will be complete. And then our sadness will come to an end. I'll be without pain, and the true Kawasi Umahari can be a happy forever. After all, a miserable Kawasi has no purpose. Come on, knock off all this nonsense. I mean, sure, it can be hard being so miserable at times. Always seeking approval, constantly smiling so that people will like me. It's true. Putting on a happy face even when it feels impossible, I know that feeling. But you're talking about a fake version of myself, and I don't need that. Fake? But everyone loves the me that's cheerful and energetic. The one with a totally fit body. <laughs> but don't you see? All that stuff is just superficial. People might like it, but it's still fake. It's still a million times better than being consumed by darkness. Well then, I guess we'll just have to fight it out and see which one is right. Get ready to fight it out. Fight it out with these busty brunettes. I love the fact they're probably thinking, all right, we need to make another DLC character for the game. What do we do? Let's put the uh, busty brunette one in a bikini. Okay. Right, I guess. Machine Guna. I can do that too, lady. Gotcha. Damn it. Come here. Get in my backpack. Fire. Good night. I get a feeling the summer one is actually the darkness. And she's just lying. She's just an evil. Because we all know when a female character in a game dresses like that, most of the time they're evil. I mean, go back and play Mortal Kombat, what was it? 2009, 2011 story mode? Striker even says. They're like, is that friend or foe? And he's like, foe. He's like, dressed like that? Especially dressed like that when they see Melina. So it makes a lot of sense that the skimpier they are, the more evil they are. So. Kibble Buster. Stop hurting me. I hope you like this super. We're doing it again. I think this one will actually kill. Locked on. Nope. There we go. Unless she gets to stage 8, which I don't think she does. 
She just defeated... Goodbye, my darkness. I don't think so. I think it's all a lie. See? I knew I would win. No! I don't believe it! What's wrong? Oh no. We were completely wrong. That cow I see. It isn't a copy at all. What do you mean? It's a recreation of how others see her. That would explain the bathing suit. <laughs> huh? Did you say something? Oh, no. Nothing. So you're saying the real Kawasi and the image of other people's impressions of Kawasi were split off during the transmission? Right. The program has allowed for the existence and interaction of the real self and the self that exists in the minds of others. So what happens when one gets deleted? We have no protocols in place to handle something like that. I doubt it would be an issue if the real Kawasi were to remain. But if it's the impression that survives, in that case, in that case, in that case, a soul can't be inserted into the impression of a person. So there won't be any entity that can become the Blade Stranger. Which means the world comes to an end. <laughs> Entering a chaos pattern. What? The f. Bye bye. Goodbye, fake world. Oh, there's a door. That's that's a reference. Uh, hello, New Horn. That's a reference to the Kawasi game where she swings around, going through door to door. So, that's Blade Strangers. Like I said, if you wish to see me do arcade runs, please leave a comment below. I would try online, but I tried that off screen and the online was kind of dead. I'd have to go online, search for people, and be like, hey, you want to play some Blade Strangers online with me? Anyway, it's not a bad game. It's easy to pick up and learn. Some fun characters in it. It's, like I said, it's fun to see Shovel Knight being this big, burly, buff, giant knight instead of that little short, shout, like short and stout, stubby little knight. Isaac's hilarious looking. Gunvolt and Volt, I mean quotes, Gunvolt and quotes are both fun. And I got interested in Code Princess there and the Kawasi games. So yeah. Yeah, if you can find it cheap, definitely, definitely pick up. I think it is only like $20 right now on the, uh, the shop, digitally. If you find a physical version, I don't know if they ever made one. But yeah, definitely pick it up. It's not going to last you long if you're just single player, but it's a good, like, fighting game to have around, you know. Have fun around at parties and whatnot. Sorry. Trying to uh, see if there's anything after the credits here for Summer Kawasi. Watch her be like, I'm the evil one. Surprise, mother... F Nothing. Not a damn thing. Oh well. I hope you enjoyed these Blade Strangers story mode playthroughs. If there's more, I'll let you know. If not, well, my name's Clickerroth. I thank you all so much for watching.